went off. I'm starting the video again because it went off. Um, <coughs> we're here on Waikato, and we're here on today, the um, 1st of March 2018. I'm just running through, my camera turned off, and I'm starting it up again. So I'm just briefly go back over on what I started out on before the camera turned off. I'm putting together this apostoly with my lawyer uh, to um, authenticate and sign, seal, to the Internal Affairs of New Zealand Government and the Foreign Affairs of Britain, UK, these documents to make real. The seals go in here and the signatures and the lawyers and our stamps. <coughs> so on it goes until we come across citations there yeah, I've got cited cited for things we've got against the government of New Zealand Jacinda Ardern and Winston Peters Jacinda Ardern Prime Minister and Winston Peters Deputy Prime Minister you are now on notice as threats tempering with our contract with the, the Kings of Britain UK um, emperors and our Paramount Chiefs titles here with Te Rawakato Wharehehe Manukau, Rewharefe Manukau and Hori Tikuri's titles in New Zealand over this country. You are threats, you are treason, and I'm just going to read out what you are. Here's Te Rawakato Wharehehe Manukau, the chief of Pungapunga Marae in Arapuni, <coughs> Waikato district after his name Waikato. That's where the name Waikato comes from, this man. He went to England and made a deal with King George IV in 1823 when King George was coronated, coronation, and made him his partner as a second part partner to a fir first partner, King George IV, private contract <coughs> of Admiralty in land transactions for the whole of New Zealand. And that's the memorial to New Zealand there, that rock of Mangatotali Mountain in Cambridge, New Zealand, to Cambridge, England, as this man, one man, signed a deal with the King to Paramount Chief to King Emperor. They are both kings in their own right. He was called a prince in the time him and Hongi Hika went to England, but Hongi was only interested in bloodshed and muskets. He was not intelligent enough or keen enough to take on the legal side of the flag that came later for this contract with King William IV, the brother of King George IV. <coughs> that flag is to this man and his contract with Britain UK. This is nothing to do with Māori. The King didn't give Māori the flag. That flag, that's the 1834 Declaration of War, State of Emergency flag, was to protect this business between King George IV and King and Paramount Chief Te Rawaikato. Um, King William IV is the brother of King George IV, made a further contract through Queen Victoria, the niece, his niece, for the transfer of land in Pukekohe to King William IV, so King Queen Victoria is an agent of the British Crown. But the kings made all these titles, not the Queen. Okay, so we have a contract running with the flag and with this man and this Marae and that memorial rock there. Everything's memorial. This is a memorial to the land of New Zealand from that mount, Mangatoturi Mountain far sight on the top, <coughs> and there it is there. That's Mangatotri, and the Punga Punga Marae, or Pohara Marae, as they've changed the name, is down this side, on the east side of the mountain. Okay, this is the east view of Mangatotri Mountain, that is <coughs> significant to the Cambridge area here, to Cambridge area, England. <coughs> That's where the name Cambridge came from, of this Paramount Chief only. Okay, so we go down into this 
declaration of war emergency third party Crown Bank financial threats. <coughs> this is threats against the New Zealand there. The unconstitutional, unconstitutional, unconstitutional New Zealand colonial government committed these criminal acts by all the judicial enforcement agencies. Direct threat upon our Maui Crown Federal State British dual nation state government's commercial landowners. Trading bank flag sovereign authority. That's our flag. That's right in the middle of it, but I won't read that. Here's the offences cited. These are criminal acts perpetrated by the unconstitutional New South Wales, Australian, New Zealand governments and all their judicial enforcement agencies thereof upon the people of this nation, state, country and its counterpart, Australian people. <coughs> Included, but not limited to the following. Treason, economic terrorism, fraud and deception, conspiracy to commit unlawful acts, murder, kidnapping, theft, intimidation, criminal crimes against humanity, crimes against the environment, enslavement, wrongful arrest and conviction, unlawful seizure of lands and possession, TPPA, threat on our Pacific states land and seabed titles, Queen Elizabeth II conflict of third party interests. So these are citations I'm making on Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister of New Zealand, and Winston Peters, the Deputy Prime Minister of New Zealand, Sean Elias, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of New Zealand, Patsy Reddy, the Governor General of New Zealand, and all the past Prime Ministers and Governor Generals of New Zealand. You are now on notice, 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head, bounty of one trillion birth certificate bond that you hold and we hold over you. So this is uh, cited on this Mangatauteri Marae uh, Pa site, Mangatauteri Mountain Pa site and Punga Punga Marae in Arapuni, Te Waikato name is used in this fraud manufactured whakapapa by this Ngāti Whātua Iwi Māori Crown Corporations as a woman and wife of Mahanga, first husband and second husband Ripiro for the fabricated Iwi Maori 1840 Treaty of Waitangi Native CT title, land title claims. So I'm saying the whole of this whakapapa of Te Waikato as a woman here equals Mahanga Tane 1 See, they're, they're cunning to put it like that. And Ripiro Tane 2. See on the next page. This is the whakapapa that's come out of Ho Moe Wairangi. <coughs> that whakapapa, Ngāti Rongo Iwi, is fabricated. I'm telling you, this is fraud. Straight fraud, treason against the original Paramount Chiefs of Waikato and Manukau and now here's Tira Waikato as a woman right here. Okay, this is the offence, people. I'm telling you, this Ngāti Whātua and the government of New Zealand invented these corrupted titles in their Maori land court, and that's what I'm going to do: is seize all those lands back because of this discrepancy and illegal activity of business fraud. There's Tira Waikato there, the woman, and the first husband, and the second husband, Bibido, and all the whakapapa that comes out of it. Right there. Ngāti Whiu, Ngāti Whātua, Te Uri Ho. You see, this is all Ngāti Kahu. You see, you see, it's coming out of this crooked crooked fraud whakamapa of Te Waikato, they've gone and stolen the name and that's on my father-in-law's marae. I've got a right to be in there supporting his title. Ngāti Whātua, Iwi, these are the crooked sods that needs hanging under the Hanging and Chains Act of King William IV. Manga Mata Hapu. A lot of bullshit's gone into this. I'm making no bones about it. <coughs> that it's a straightforward case. 
that we're going to seize back this whole country by the British back into our custody title with the British. Okay, so we go down. We're going down some more different pathways. Tiriho and Ngātikawa, there. It's split off. This is Titi Marae and Ngāti Rahini coming out of this. Ngāti Fiu and Ngāti Kawa. <coughs> North Wairo of Dugville, up that way, of the Kaipara Harbour. I know all about it. Ngāti Kahu's there. Tiuri Ho's there. All made up. These people here fabricated. Okay? So, I'll just go back down. So now we're going through the rest of the citations. 1820 to 1830, that's the period of Te Waikato. And more Whakapapa coming out of that Te Waikato woman made up. It, 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 it's, they have to prove that it's real. And I'm saying it's not. The Pakehas did that. The white man did that in their Iwi Maori Crown Corporation for all this bullshit crap. Ngāti Rongo, Ngāti Uri Ahau, Ngāti Te Hana, Te Rōroa, Ngāti Riki. These are all the whakapapas that have come out of that crooked, corrupted name. Ngāti Rongo, <coughs> Te Rorua, Ngāti Te Hau, Ngāti Riki, Ngā Riki, Te Tau Iwi, that's Dan Davis's, and the Pauls, Baoras, that's their whakapapa coming out of this Te Rawaikato. You wonder why they're trying to keep a straight face all these years. I've been on <coughs> Mohi Manukau's Marae Haranui, Marae in Helensville, or up up, up the road from Helensville. Right, I'm making these statements clear to the government of New Zealand that the British are about to seize all these titles. There's your stories there. The Otene Kiko Kiko, a Nazi Fatua Trick. This is all the bullshit, I'm telling you. The bullshit that went into making up this whakapapa out of Tira Waikato of Mangatoturi Mountain, Cambridge to Cambridge, England. You're exposed, <coughs> identified, and discovered as corrupted, fraudulent, iwi Maori, humbug tribe. It's not real, people. It's not real. It was made up by Pahia's white man, crooked, ex prison convicts from Australia, they are still there in the government in Wellington, operating. Now I'll put these in red, these, <coughs> these statements they make of their history of Ngāti Whātua. It's the ice of America equivalent to the Maori of New Zealand. Ngāti Whātua is equivalent to ISIS, to make these natives fight each other. Right, this is the iwi crooked that you need to know about. You people in New Zealand need to know this. You need to know and hold them to account with me and the people who I represent as British title holders, commercial landowners. We are, <coughs> and there's more whakapapa of these Ngāti Kawa. These are the buggers that kicked me off Titi Marae, right there. Right, coming out of this crooked Tera Waikato title. I said to Bundy, where did you get your Tera Waikato from? He says, oh, he's from up there. I said, no, he comes from Mangatoturi Mount. He owns this whole country. So, if he's, you're saying he's from up there, then he comes from his home in Pohara, 
the poor Marae. That name was given by this government to call it poor when it's not. It's actually the owner of this country, the commercial legal owner of this country. Landowner. Just all of the whakapapa of Te Rungana, Te Runanga or Ngāti Whātua is cited here as criminal fraud, Maori grand theft of identity whakapapa over the years back then to 1830 King George the fourth start of offence. Offences. Man, I see mistakes. Offences captured, and here's one here. I'm on eight and twenty. <coughs> King George for start of offences as that's where we're dating everything from. Eighteen twenty, captured here, exposed for the very first time. Issue of a property control and possession recovery of land assets and forfeiture of corrupted fraud business bank transfer and land transaction starting with 77 Cook Street we're about to seize this Auckland property seizure and East Coast not Coast Lotton Point and East Cape land seizure in notified intention defaulted private contracts and there's more Whakapapa Te Roroa and Ngāpui, see, the Ngāpui has been corrupted as well. The Ngāpui of Ngāti Rahiri has been corrupted by these Crown Corporations. Te Roroa Iwi Tribe is a Maori Crown Corporate Company invented by the New Zealand Crown for its own patent private company with these corporate names Maori and Iwi are considered threats on our national security, financial investment interests with TPPA 11 states their target aim, I'm going to put this package around there, like that, TPPA, oh, TPPA 11 states, their target aim claim to control New Zealand and the Pacific region under these fake, corrupted Maori and land court, crown, corporate, fraudulent, credit land titles to steal our natural resources are now facing the British Crown, King William IV, Admiralty Court Martial Law, King's flag sheriffs and judge judges private contract commercial landowners landlords financial investment interests as judgment creditor holding uh, the disputed undisputed unrefuted title to New Zealand. I'm going to put this supposed to these things. This is <coughs> holding the undisputed unrefuted title to New Zealand country. My crown. My Crown King William IV Trust, my Moriori Manukau Trust, and my Crown Private Corporation British Crown Companies. That's supposed to be there. Crown Companies, National Security and Financial Investment, Commercial Trading Bank, Private Contract, Land Development Interest. <coughs> okay. More whakapapa from Ngāti Fiu and Te <coughs> I'm putting these here to cite all of the fake whakapapa to New Zealand. All these iwi Maori crown fake Te Rawakato female whakapapa genealogy has been created illegally without proof of claim title defrauded the public of New Zealand taxpayers. There, I'm making this bold statement right in front of you from all this bullshit for their treaty claims are irrelevant. They are fraudulent and corrupted. <clears throat> this is the Ngāti Whātua's statements. I've cited them. It says here, rather than absolute owners, right? Mihaka, Mikaora, mi, Mark Koare, Arama Karaka and Tiopira Kinaki, who obviously were trustees of communal property rather than absolute owners, you see. They were trustees. All the trustees in this country are bullshit. They are frauds. Fraudsters. <coughs> Chopra only having an individual beneficial interest in land. The trusteeship also was inconsistent, inconsistent with succession orders. I should be underlining inconsistent, the words. Incon um, inconsistent. I, I'm put underline 
here, underline. Rather than absolute owners. See, I put, I put underlined them. Oh, why is that black and up? Suction, it's the words. The court should have. The court should have appointed new trustees. They didn't. They just kept bowling on. <clears throat> and shook him, differing of, you see the words? I'm, I'm, I'm underlining them. Oh. Oh, shucks. Different. Yeah, there. So I'm just underlining the words. Repito. See? You see these chiefs? They went after the land for themselves. Repito. The chiefs that they put. Manufactured. <coughs> Faka Papa was manufactured. There. That says it all. Now you get my drift. I'm putting that as being why it's fabricated. Here's King George IV that made a deal with Tita Waikato Whareheri and Manukau back there. I won't go back, it's too far back. Okay, so, and there's his regulations I put there for um, property contracts, private contract by default. Okay, and there's King William IV. These are two brothers that put our titles to New Zealand together in contracts. The contract of the flag <coughs> is our business. And there's King Ernest Augustus. I'm swearing my oath of office to him in Britain, UK. And this is a 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your head, Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister of New Zealand. This pound note is on your head and all the thugs who have gone under Queen Elizabeth II as their head of state and now she's abandoned ship and coming to New Zealand to try and steal everything. Here's our partner, Sir Philip Jones, First Lord of the Sea, <coughs> Royal British Navy, and these are the thugs. Here, the police, CIB, Natalie Flower Dew Brown, and the landowners of Cook Street, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree. They're in the gun for tempering with our contracts. There's all the bits of the rules and regulations of a surrogate king, captain of the ship, right here. I'm putting those statements there. That's the end of that. And I'll just put the rest of it on there, which is... <clears throat> I've got to add it on because I added on to other files and I've gone and misplaced them. So I just want to go and find something here. This one. Uh, no, not that one. I'll go and get the folder and find the file which has got the other documents in it. I'll try. Postally, copy, postally, hope. My message be copy now. It's um it's on the big one. Go down to the big that one over there, the big two terabytes. Um terabytes, where's terabytes? This terabytes apostoly. Um, oh man, this is not good. No, that's not the one. No, I've gone and lost it now. I've made a mess of it now. It's gone and got stuck now. Because I shouldn't have gone in, into it like that. 
<coughs> anyway, <coughs> I'm just going to find all these books up today for my lawyer. Tony Fortune, Tony Fortune from Fortune Manning Lawyers, who's setting up the documents to seal for the New Zealand government internal affairs to authenticate, seal, and the British foreign um, authorities to seal apostoly to Britain. Um, <clears throat> today, I'm making this statement quite clear that the government of New Zealand and Iwi Maori Aruna Crown Corporations private companies have defrauded the public of New Zealand, taxpayers and the original Paramount Chiefs commercial landowners under this flag of King William IV and King George IV, 1820-1830, private contract with Te Rewaikato Whare Erehere Manukau of Cambridge, <coughs> Arapuni, Punga Punga Marae, in Arapuni. Contract to sell the whole of New Zealand lands and Pacific Islands under one title of found, founding discovered title. Along with that goes the Maui crown on his head in Dunedin was put down there in about 1833 when America became bankrupted. The crown on Maui's head went there. <coughs> queen Elizabeth II put that there. When she became Queen in 1952, it went up before then under King, under Queen Victoria put it there. With that in mind, the crown of Moai, Earth God's Spirit Lord. That's my title and I'm holding the title as Executor of the Punga Punga Marae Hapu in Arapuni and my father in law, Peter May Williams, title Moriori Manukau Waikato title. I know all about it, I've got all that intact here. I've also got the Whakapapa for titles for deeds for Te Rewaikato, Wharehere Manukau and the Refere for Manukau and the Rogans who married the Manukaus and the Wainos. True, right in the church, mixed up with the Rogans and the land titles. Liable. Liable. Under the four tribes confederation of chiefs. That's something this brand new Whakameninga of Hohepa Epiha and Willie Peter, although they're good guys, they are on the Pakeha side pushing this flag. Dangerous, it's a dangerous approach to this flag. It wasn't given to Maoris, it wasn't given to the Whakameninga. They just chose the flag, the authority and its jurisdiction of power went to these three paramount chiefs. Contract. It is a contract flag, a trading bank flag, a commercial instrument of bank loans and security of investment titles. Maori was not invented when that happened in 1834 when that flag here was given to us and our Paramount Chiefs private contract. That's all it is, a private contract to sail around the world in four corners of the earth with the eight-point star of St. Patrick in Belfast, Northern Ireland. My Patrick family, the Cosgrove family and the Rogan family. Northern Ireland. And I'm wearing the coat of arms of Rogan and Cosgroves. The Cosgroves married my family 
and the Rogans married my family at the East Cape. That's my title to Britain, UK, and the Moai Statue Memorial to this planet Earth, standing in Queen Elizabeth Square Court in London. That's my title. I'm claiming it. I'm claiming these Paramount Chiefs' titles as executor of the Moai Moriori Manukau Trust. The Moai Crown King William IV Trust and the Moai Crown Trust. Those three trusts I'm executor for on this video site. Fact evidence to apostolize, legalize, and it's for you people to refute it on this video, YouTube, by making another video with your face on it, your lips moving, live. I'm talking live to you, making statements that are true to God Almighty. I tell the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. I am talking my deeds of truth. The opposite to the Freemasons' deeds of untruth, myths, and Maori myths, and Iwi myths, and Crown New Zealand myths, and Queen Elizabeth coronation myth, and everything mythy about this whole corrupted, fraudulent government of New Zealand. The Queen has hidden herself in her Maori people that have no legal right, no legal standing with this flag. It's not legal with them because it's not theirs. They can fly the flag around but it's got no legal effect. The only legal effect is in this postalized document. The British are our partner. The Navy <coughs> and the new government after the Lords are booted out because they are corrupted, fraudulent bastards. So, once again, Winston Peters, I was in your New Zealand First Party in 1996 onwards in real estate in Remura as a real estate salesman, agent, and I went to all your meetings with my two little girls, and you'll know they didn't say a word when I was talking or sitting there in your meeting. I was there in Te Ungawaka Marae, which is my native magistrate court, legal authority and jurisdiction of Admiralty Court Martial Law in that marae in Epsom where you had a meeting with Tauhenu and Tukumogunu. I was in your party. I'm not in your party anymore. I'm in my own party. The Moai Crown or the Moai King William IV party in Britain and here in New Zealand. Dual government. Dual government. <coughs> Under King William IV's Acts 1830 to 1837 applies. Raw. And this flag raw. We're just about to use it on you people. So unless you refute my video here, and I'm going to stop you signing TPPA on this country, land, dry soil land, if you haven't got an original discovery title of not Maori, but Moriori. Manukau title and the Moai title memorials. You can forget your Maori because it's corrupted, fraudulent, treason material. I'm sending this to you, emailing this, what I've just said to you, to show you in the mirror of who you are. Crooked bastards on this planet. 
that has affected all the other native titles in the world. You bastard Maoris. When she beat us, I'm saying that straight to your face. Jacinda Ardern, you might be a little pretty flower, but your legacy of fraud and corruption lies right in your palm of your hand with a trillion pound bounty warrant on your head to arrest you and hang you or lock you up for carrying on a legacy string of fraud and corrupted documents, instruments against the instruments I have here for the title of this country you are selling out everything that's been sold here illegally without a seal of the Queen in your courts without the seal of Westminster Parliament where you came from in the first place under the King's Emperor's titles and these paramount, paramount chiefs I'm saying not your Maori chiefs your Maori chiefs have no contract with they have contract with the New South Wales and New Zealand government. The ruler is crooked. The trusts are crooked. Waitangi, Marae, National Trust is under investigation by the Serious Fraud Office, SFO, for discrepancies in their accounting system. The whole lot's a sham, scam. All the other trustees under this Tira Waikato woman, Whakapapa, is fraud. I'm making this plain on this video in front of the whole world watching that all the native titles of the world comes out of this corrupted Ngati Fatua Iwi Maori Crown Corporation private interest the government of New Zealand and New South Wales, Australia, Canada, dare I say it, America. America in Donald Trump is not going with 11 states in the TPPA 11 agreement. It's got, that's its title. TPPA 11 is the name of their agreement, document, instrument, fraudulent instrument with in front of these commercial landowner instruments I'm putting up in front of you. In lieu of them being apostolized, it's standing orders right to you from our Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court. It is an order from the court and me, the Sheriff, to seize all the lands of New Zealand and Pacific Islands back into the King's Bench Court and our paramount chiefs of the world. Indigenous country and your bill of 970 million trillion trillion pound note, one single green pound note on your head under King Ernest Augustus, the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover, and monarch of New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and 250 countries of the world, Commonwealth countries, under this flag. We are legalising this flag, legalising me, legalising the power note instrument to get a you, a lot of thugs and pirates here in New Zealand and the world following you and the Rothschild banks, bankrupt. You're going to get bankrupted, all of you. One single natural person and your corporate name, bullshit, capital name, birth certificate, worth one trillion pounds in this Maui Crown King William IV Trust system of dual government with Britain, Brexit, UK. The new government that's coming up with this flag here, beside the British flag, to take over this whole Commonwealth country of the world title. I'm speaking for the King. I have every legal right to speak for the King as his second partner in a commercial trading bank partnership contract, private business, nobody's business, to inquire in what I say do, write and display in social media as fact-cited evidence admissible in any court as me, my own competent witness of being the author of all this information on top of the Freemasons' legal documents 
patent rights and copyrights I'm there for the king to see the whole lot because the king made all these acts of Westminster Parliament through his governments and modified by the Queen. The Queen had no ship of admiralty. It's only a vice admiral, second hand. The Iwi Maori Crown here and the New Zealand government is second hand. It is a third party fraudster. You got that? I'll say it one more time. The government of New Zealand and New South Wales, Australia, and Canberra, Commonwealth country of Canberra, Australia, state governments of Australia, New Zealand, federal state governments of Australia, not New Zealand, are fraudsters. This flag is a Maui federal state government flag of New Zealand and Britain. Legal authority authority, jurisdiction of power over subordinate, less powerful jurisdictions in Admiralty Courts under Queen's Bench Court. This is the King's Bench Court I'm talking from that level of legal authority as a commercial landowner. Morris Lowe Baker and myself and the deed titles I'm holding on to and the deed titles he's holding, I'm holding his titles here are the commercial landowners under this flag of Admiralty Court Martial Law on anyone who gets in the road of these contracts between here and Britain. Maori and their confederation or Whakameninga has no legal authority to use the flag. They picked the flag but they got no contract. The contract was blown up in Okiato, Russell, and the native court shut down and shifted to Awaroa Native Magistrate Court Bank, Awaroa Bank in Helensville. Now, that's my authority that I'm going under. That, the Rogan family, the Manukau family, and the Wano family that put those titles together here in Awaroa, Helensville and Gisborne Native Land Court and the Rogan there, Dick Rogan and John Rogan in the Kaibara. Got that? Dick Rogan and married Uraiti Wainua and John Rogan, Marae, Manukau. There. You got that? Those are the titles I'm holding over you, Jacinda Ardern. You can govern your people, your pirates, but you're getting the bell on your head for all the string of offences going back to 1820 when Te Rawaikato Wharehere the Manukau went to England, Edinburgh, Magistrate Court, and signed a deal with King George IV. Contract to sell this whole country. You didn't know. I'm telling you. My lawyer. I have to pay my lawyer to give my information to him that he don't know. That's what he said. I don't know anything about this, John. I'm going to pay him for me giving him valuable information with trillions for me to get a seal of him so they can put my seal on top of his head and this government here and Britain from a king. Nobody talks for the king. Just me, okay, as his contract business partner, and this is the receipt for that contract with King George IV, the brother of King William IV, 1834, declaration of a war flag on third party tamperers of our contract. That's what's happened here. I'm just showing you the result of in end settlement to this fraudulent, corrupted, sort of a bitch government in New Zealand and the whole world for that matter, to stop the wars, the bank wars, are run from this country in Waitangi Marae Magistrate Court, native. I opened that Marae up as a native Magistrate Court and Hoheba Epiha and Willie Pater was there with Kingi Tauroa 
those three chiefs have run off the other way with the book I put out and all the information everybody's reading. I put that together for the Manukau chiefs, Paramount, and to the Waikato for the head of Manukau, Red Flat for Manukau, and Hori Tukuri. Not for Maori and their chiefs because they had no contract. They had no contract. They chose the flag, but then the British blew it up. Blew the whole lot out. <clears throat> and the New Zealand government fabricated all the history from then on. When that happened in 1868, thereabouts, the courts was moved to Helenville, and that's where all the discrepancy came into the Whakapapa by Ngāti Whātua. ISIS tribe of New Zealand pit up against all the other tribes and made them fight. The four tribes, Te Arawa, Waikara, Ngāpuhi and Aotea, that was the four tribes of Ngāti Whātua, Mohi Manukau, fashioned with me. I wrote the stories and documented the whole thing. I'm in charge of that as executor of those four tribes history, I put a big cross right over it. That Manukau is not the right Manukau in Kaipara. It's gone down that female Tera Waikato cross, big fat cross, right through all the work I did with Mohi over six years on that alone and 20 years in the Confederation of Chiefs of the tribes of Aotea, New Zealand, Aotearoa, New Zealand. I went through all the trouble, over all the time, following Mohi Manukau. Now I've gone the other way and left those Manukaus with the Ratna Church over there, scrapping amongst each other with the Labour government of New Zealand and this brand new Whakamania, who think they are clever kutus to know everything about this flag the Moai history, the Paramount's history of how they got on this land in the first place. Hohepa Ebiha, you're an Epping from Australia, where these pirates came from. Mm -hmm. All these people, you better be careful what you do with that flag, because the British are going to pounce on you, because they'll just say they didn't give it to you. You haven't got the documents. Whakapapa is not going to work. It's who, the one man that they gave it to, or two, or three, or four. They didn't give it to a whole heap of unintelligent Māori. I'm saying that because you people are subordinate to the Queen and the Crown Corporation of New Zealand private companies. In fact, you are a private company of your own contract. You have your own contract. That's not your flag for contract. You've stolen it. Well, Hippa, you've stolen a history that I'm part of. I know as my own competent witness, holding all the titles to this country, the deeds and the memorials. I'm taking each one of you straight into the... High Court of Admiralty in London, if you mess about with this flag without the authority of what I'm saying in apostolized documents, I'm making that flag legal. You can't. Whoever. King Itaurua, you can't touch that flag. You're King Edward bastard with Queen Victoria and Rothschild Banks. You're the crooked sods of Maori, Iwi, Crown authorities that changed Telewagato's name into a surname, female. You, I'm holding you accountable to that, Kingi. You know what you did in Poto, North Ed, as a Taurua. You're not a Taurua, Kingi. You mischievous Maoris, change your names around. I know which is which. You can't fool me or Moai or the Paramount Chiefs are kings in their own rights of commerce. 
can have all your whaka papa you like, but it's crooked. You are crooked whaka papa, can you? And hohepa, and willy peta, and <coughs> rooka. All your whaka papa has been manufactured to defraud the public of New Zealand. And worst of all, to defraud me as a surrogate King William III, King William IV, and King George IV, commercial landowners of this country. You have no commercial land titles. And still tenants with occupation titles, paper titles. And you have to share it with everybody else on this land who has a right to be here legally if we have something to say about how they got here in the first place. You all got here on the King's title, not the Queen's title. You are Queen Elizabeth Ford Bitch. That's not there. She's got no seal in the court. That's why I won my case on Cook Street against the CIB police, Auckland Central Police Station, had insufficient evidence against all of what I'm just saying to you on this video. And more on top of it. They lost because they arrested me unlawfully, illegally, a king surrogate, and took my shirt as evidence against me. Now I'm using my shirt with the coat of arms on it, with these kings, against them, each individual. Natalie Flower Do Brown, you, bitch, arrested me in this house and stripped my shirt off me and took it away. It came back in the packet just before Christmas last year, 2016, with Wānoa in capitals on the packet. That name, Wānoa, is worth one trillion pound note, Great Britain pound note, equivalent to Maui pound note. Water money currency, gold bar currency, and fraudulent instrument currency. Value. I'm putting a trillion pound bounty contract on your head. That's what I'm doing with every single one of you. People who have defrauded me and the public of New Zealand with your corrupted whakapapa. Ngajifakla. Runanga. You are scam. You are bastard scam in this country New Zealand. You shouldn't be here. You're best to get in a ship, like Woody Peter said. You're flying this flag as a flag on the sea. You can go out in the sea, where you came from, with the flag. Because we're holding the same flag here on dry land. It was given on dry land as a land title, on the sea and on the land. I took that as being a statement on YouTube, Willie, on what you said, because you're involved with the Queen's side of the Crown. She's not there. She's in the EU Parliament as a threat against the British establishment in Westminster and a threat against the Paramount Chiefs of New York and Pacific Islands and the whole rest of the world. She's doing her business, dirty business with you here in Waitangi, Marae, under the Waitangi National Trust Corporate Crown private company and Intuition New Zealand private companies where the police have got their 13 private companies in there raking the money as well. You iwi, runanga thugs are raking money off these people in New Zealand. We're going to rake it back off you in one shot with a 970 million trillion trillion pound note over this land blocked against you and you're going to stay there.